Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by for another video review. Today I have um, the Chrome Effect uh, pigments review for you guys and I just want to say before anything, before I start, I just wanted you guys to know and um, this is just my opinion and don't take it the wrong way if you don't like something that I say. Just be very open minded about it and just with any other review that anybody else will make out there. We all just give our opinions about the product and it is really up to you whether you want to purchase it or not or if you want to try this brand or a different brand. This product was not given to me. I would purchase it with my own money and um, that's, that's it, you know? Well, the first thing I want to say is that um, the product that I got, I got it from Wildflowers. Um, I think it's .com. I will link all the links in the description below where you can get the product that I will be mentioning. Um, this is how I came. I was a little disappointed because usually the products from that website come very nice packed and in a very nice manner and she also sends like a business card saying thank you. Well this time was not the, the, that case. Uh, I ordered, I pre-ordered about three weeks ago so I was supposed to get it shipped like last week or so, the week before. And I didn't get any shipping confirmation so I contacted them and I said you know um, I, my product's supposed to be shipped at this time and it hasn't been shipped. Um, I would like to cancel my order. And this, I did say this because if they were not going to ship it to me anytime soon, I have the opportunity to probably purchase it from someone else. Then it would get to me faster. Because this is a trend. And a trend, well, it doesn't last that long. And usually, you know, by the time I, if you, your product takes a long time, by the time you get it, you know, your guys, your customers don't want it anymore because it's not in style anymore. So you want you want to get your products as soon as they come out and blah, blah, blah. But I don't do this for business, but I was still a little upset because I still hasn't received it and I see a lot of people getting it. And I was like, okay, so, you know. And the thing is that got me very upset about it is that, you know, they did send it, they send the confirmation right after and it got here and it was like all over the place as you can see the package is absolutely like it's all over the place this is as it is it's already it's a pigment and it's very um it's not like a glitter it's just very 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 thin and it gets everywhere so i'm not sure if it came out of the little container or i don't I have no idea but it's it's as you can see it's a little bit of a mess and that kind of really upset me because I've seen pictures of other people getting their product and it's in very good condition. So I don't know if me contacting them and saying, you know what, where's my product? I've been waiting for it. Is it gonna get shipped anytime soon, or should I cancel my my purchase? I don't know if they, this happened because of that reason, or if it happened because of maybe, um, cost, you know, like shipping and like moving it around the mail carrier, whatever. But I have never had this problem with them before. So I I want to think it was the mail mail's fault, probably. I don't know. But the, I was very upset about it when I got it because even you can see the sponge applicator right here. It's very messy. So before I use it, I have to take it out of the little package and I'm going to have to clean it before I use it because you can see it, it's all over my hands already. And the box where it came from, um, I threw it away already and it didn't have much everywhere, but it did have a little bit. So I also, with this purchase, I also purchased their um, powder, what is it called, their sugar, sugar powders or whatever. Um, pigments and glitters and this one is not as bad I mean it still has some wet everywhere but not as much as this one and let me tell you guys this product is not cheap at all I pay $70 for those two things this one is $24 and this one is $40 and shipment is about $7 so it's $70 and it's not very it's not cheap and it's not cheap any other website either uh, any website if you look into um, it's about Thirty-five or sixty-five dollars, the little jar. So, anywhere you buy it, it's going to be expensive. And I was expecting it to be expensive, but was not expecting that it was going to look like a hot mess like this. So I was very disappointed about that. But let's just move on to the review. Okay. So what I'm going to do too is that I also have this pigments. I did share a little video on Instagram about the Young Nails pigments, and they do the same type of work. 
and they're very inexpensive. They're about, I'm not sure, I think they're under $5 each one. The only thing with Young Nails is that you cannot get it without a license. So, I mean, if you do have a, li a nail license, then good for you. And go get yourself some and try them because they work about the same way. And you don't have to spend a, lot of, a heck of a lot of money. So that's, that's a little tip. And I do have another um, thing that I'm going to show you guys that you can use. And it does give somewhat of the same effect. It's not going to be the crystal mirror. Um, you're not going to find that other than the, than the original product because that's what it was meant to be and it's the whole, you know, fuss for it and blah, blah, blah. So let's, let me get this cleaned up for you guys and so we can start the demo real quick. All right, so I am back and I am a hot mess as you can guys see. I clean it my best possible way. This is supposed to be 10 grams and I'm pretty sure it is. Um, this one right here is seven grams and is, it is a little bit wider than this one and they're about the same height as you can see right there. So this is seven grams and this is supposed to be 10 grams but then you have to think that this one is really micro fine. It's very like micro micro glues. It's super super small. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's very as you can see. Like if I wash, I wash my hand and it does not come out yet. They did send me like a little sample of the gold one, which I'm, like I said, I will be comparing. This is the one from Young Nails and I'm going to use this copper one. They both work the same. If you see my clip of Instagram, I will link that in my description below and it works the same way. <clears throat> and this is the, the chrome effect one and I'm going to try to open it. And it's pretty full, as you can see. And this is one thing that I do like about this product is that the one that comes from Wildflower is full. I seen a review on another channel from Bella Snails, and um, she purchased it. I think it came with three of them for sixty-five dollars in a tub code. But the product was so little, and the little jar, the way it looked, it, it seems to look a ripoff to me. But then you have to judge for yourself what you think, you know. Um, I just want to mention one thing real quick before we get started. This video is going to be a little bit long, so go grab yourself a cup of coffee so we can get started. And like I said before, this is just my opinion, okay? Just my opinions and what I think of the product and what I think of everything else. Uh, Wildflower Company, it, 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 was, it, it was a very small company to begin with, and it's getting really big. So I do kind of understand the products are being delayed more because they're getting more and more demand for this product and other products that she sells because she does sell wonderful products. I was just not very happy with the way my product arrived. Um, I'm not going to contact them because I contact them about a different product before and they never respond to me. So I'm just going to leave it how it is and this is the little applicator that comes with it. Um, this is with a little eyeshadow applicator, the normal, the regular ones that come on your eyeshadow palettes. This ones are a sponge. This ones are more of a foam type of applicator. So what I did, I know this was not going to work for me because I was already full of product. What I did, I went to the dollar store and I got myself a little pack of eyeshadow applicators. And I pay a dollar for this and they come on the 20. And it's the same type of... Um, material it's a foam very soft kind of like those makeup applicators that you use like the the triangle ones to apply your makeup that's that's exactly what that, that type of um, material is so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the demo uh, I'm gonna start with the chrome in this products like I said before they're just for my personal use I don't use it on anybody it's just um, for me so I don't care if I double deep or anything, but if you do this for business, you want to um, add a little bit in a separate container where you can pour and um, to the nail and it'd be more sanitary. So you're not supposed to grab a lot, just a little bit, and you're just going to, let me just zoom a little bit. And you're supposed to like rub in the product. As you can see it takes very little and I think the key is that you have to rub really good to adhere the product. My camera is not the best so it might not do the justice of the product 
It works very nice. It blends really well. I'm going to move this out of the way because I feel like with a little bit I'm going to knock it off. So, And I forgot to mention too, I'm sorry, I'm horrible for this. Um, what I did before, I just used a block gel polish and I used the Sally brand. And I tap coated with this gel top coat from Max Strata from Nail Couture. Um, I got this one from that website, I believe, um, the link below as well. Like I said, it's about $10, I think $9 or $10. It's a good, it's a non-tacky top coat, and that's what you need for this. And the only thing, this one smells like rotten egg, so, you know. I also try the Young Nails Finish Gel, and also works sweet, really good. And I also try the Glaze and Go. Um, as long as they don't have a tacky layer, you should be you should be, you should be just fine. Because that's like the main thing. They have to be with non-tacky layer. If you have something that has a tacky layer and you don't want to purchase another one, there is a couple videos too on how to use them. All you got to do is after you tap coat it, you have to use like a dry towel and try to wipe as much as a tacky layer on it. And then you can use the pigment. So this is just with the mirror effect. As you can see, you can see myself right there really good. So it's like, hello. And excuse about the noise. My mom is making noise in the background. She's in the living room. So it's really pretty. I really like the effect. So next, I'm going to try the Young Nails one. And I'm going to use a different applicator just because so I don't contaminate the colors. And I'm going to use it in the same manner. As you can see, the Young Nails is as thin as the other one. The only difference is this one doesn't fly as much as the, the crown, powder, crown powder. So you do the same thing. You just rub. And this is the effect you get with the young nails. As you can see, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. So if you already have some type of pigments at your house, try them out. I tried this pigment before I ordered it, and it didn't work. But the thing is, I didn't know is it, it had to be in a non-tacky layer of a gel polish. And I did it with the tacky layer, and it didn't work for me. That's the reason why it didn't work. Otherwise, I would probably not order the chrome effect because I have this one and I really don't need but I also wanted to order the chrome effect just because I wanted to share with you guys my opinion and I wanted to show you the product and see what, what I thought about it. Next one I'm gonna try the gold from the Wildflower website and once again excuse the noise um, background if you do hear a little bit uh, my mom is in the back and I think she's doing something I got this products on Saturday, but I didn't have time to record them because there's always something going on in my living room. Okay, so I grabbed some of the gold, and I'm just going to rub it very nice and rub it. And I'm not sure. I think I got to add more, and I think this is like a glitter. I don't think this is a micro powder, to be honest with you. Or maybe it is. You just have to like rub more. But this one is a little bit thicker than the other one. Than the micro glitter. As you can see. This one doesn't rub as good as the other one. It could be it's a little glitter to be honest with you. I don't know if this is a glitter. It doesn't have a little note or a name for it. So I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to do half of the gold one that they sent me. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab the same sponge. I'm just going to clean it a little bit here. And I'm going to use the gold one from Young Nails. Just to compare it.
the more you blend the crystal like the shinier it comes out the more um, chrome this it, it gets okay so bottom one it would be um young nails top one would be wildflowers and I have one more to show you guys so I'm just gonna prep another nail Okay, since I'm gonna prep this nail, I decided to leave it in the recording so you can see. These are just plastic nails, so don't judge by the application. Um, these are not nails that I'm going to use or I'm going to display at all. So I'm just using this for the purpose of this demo. And I'm going to cure them on the, on the UV light. So I'm just gonna do two coats of that gel top coat. I mean gel okay, so I'm back. I did two layers of the um, black gel co um, top gel color. I'm sorry, and then one top coat of the Max Estrada gel top coat. And the next one that I'm gonna use, this is something that, like I said, it's not gonna be um, that great. It's not gonna be perfect mirror image or chrome image. It's probably not, but it is. It gives you. Um, it gives you uh, like a choice of something that you maybe you don't want to invest on a $30 product or in a $65 product or you cannot get your hands on any pigments from Young Nails or you don't have any pigments around the house. Um, I have this, what is called Perfect Pearls, and this I use for my scrapbooking. I add a little bit in water and I sprinkle my my scrapbook layouts and it gives like a shimmer sand so I thought of trying it and see how it works so I tried it already and it does give a little bit of a chrome effect they do carry them in different colors you can get this one at Michaels uh, with the coupon usually the package comes with five of them I'm not quite sure um, and it's about $34 but you can get a 50% coupon and buy it for $17 and you get about four or five colors so this is a very good alternative if you want to create the chrome the chrome effect with different colors and you can play around with them if you like. I just thought I, I share with you this um, quick tip because it's something more affordable and it's something that you can probably get your hands on easier. So the same thing, um, it is a pigment as well and it's a pearlized pigment. And so it's not gonna give you that mirror effect or this one over here, but it is gonna give you some type of chrome effect. And if you use, I don't have any other color other than this one, and I honestly don't, I'm not gonna to go to the store and buy one right now, because it's really early in the morning. But I could do that, I can probably, if I end up going to the store and I end up making, you know, trying them out, I will insert a clip to the end of this video. So same thing, you know, you grab your um, pigment on your little sponge applicator. And this one I think you have to grab a little bit more than the regular, regular kind and you just um, blend as well. And look at that. And the more you blend, my little plastic hand wants to get off. Here, let me fix this now. The more you blend into the nail, the nicer it looks, as you can see. You can probably grab a little bit more and make it shiner. this is what it looks like so like I said it is not the perfect mirror one where you can see yourself or this one here but it gets close to this one and it's a really nice finished and you can get them in different colors and they're a lot less more you know more affordable yes the chrome and the young nose pigment are made with like makeup um, what is it called like makeup proof um, pigments and stuff and you're not gonna get an allergic reaction in your skin if you get them on your skin and blah 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 
But if you're playing on yourself with um, pigments and you just want to make uh, that same chrome effect and you don't want to buy a whole little can of chrome effect pigments or micro glitters, whatever they are, then this would be a great option for you. And you can do it on a different gel color and I'm pretty sure that it's going to work the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one top coat of all of them with gel polish and I will show you guys the result. I'll have some pictures at the end and I will probably have another video because I'm thinking really, really considering the fact to go get me some perfect pearl pearls and try them on different color nails and show you guys so you guys can have a, a good alternative for this. All right, let me just go ahead and gel polish and I'll show you guys the ready result. And you can see me, if you see bumps and stuff, that's just the application of the gel polish under because like I said, they're plastic hands or just for this review. Um, obviously, if you're gonna do it on someone's snails, you're gonna make a nicer, smoother application. <clears throat> and yeah, the chrome effect and the mirror effect does not go away after your top coat, as you can see me right there. And this is the young nails, and you can see me right there too. See? And the third one is the top one is the glitter they came with it as a gift or that I don't know. And the bottom one is the young nails um, pigment. And this one is the one that I did with the perfect pearls. And yes, you can still see me. See? Um, so I just want to thank you guys for stopping by and you know joining me for this review. I will have another video, like I said, with the perfect pearls. I will definitely go and get me some, just because I'm very inter um, interested in trying different things for you guys and giving you um, maybe more inexpensive um, way to get this result done. And I will. I'm gonna do another video too on the. I think they're this one's right here and you can make the same type of thing and just with different colors um, if you have any questions just do leave them down below I will leave links for you guys where I purchased these products and like I said the only thing with the young nail ones is that you cannot get it unless you have a license but don't limit yourself there you know look for an alternative and like go get yourself some pearls some perfect pearls and try it and see if you like it bye guys have a good day